What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In this video, um, this one's actually kind of like requested by you guys, but I wanted to kind of go over why I really do not think it's a good idea to do print on demand with basically any uh, sort of Shopify store, okay? Now hear me out, right? This is gonna primarily concern beginners um, for the most part, and I'll explain the reason in a second here. Um, but basically, right, what print on demand is, is you're working with another company, okay? So, I mean, if you're already drop shipping and print on demand is basically uh, what I like to think of, of just more fancy drop shipping, you're paying for expensive products to be drop shipped in a sense, okay? to the end buyer, right? So you don't have to pay for inventory, right? Now, if you go to an actual supplier uh, over in China, Brazil, Bali, wherever, you know, you, you find a supplier and you ask them, hey, I just wanna order this one item with my logo on it and ship it to that customer. Can you do that, please? They'll be like, that's really expensive. There's a fly in my shot. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. But if you go to any supplier, right, around the world and you say, hey, here's my logo. I want you to put this on a T-shirt and I want you to ship it to that customer over there in the you know, in the states, okay, um, they're gonna say, I can't really do that. That's really expensive, um, right? It, it's like it's almost paying for like a sample fee. And if you guys have worked with actual suppliers before, samples can be pretty expensive, right? It's not what you'd actually sell the product for. Um, and so the reason I go against this, right, is because print on demand products are already really expensive, right? We can literally go on Alibaba and you'll see that a plain T-shirt with your logo on it, custom and everything, um, for if you're ordering like volume in between like one and four hundred units. Now, if you go to one of the popular POD stores, um, you'll see that their cheapest shirt is $8, okay? Their cheapest one. They have more expensive ones ranging all up to like 25 for a plain t-shirt that you can get your logo on, okay? Now, that's really expensive, okay? Which is gonna cause you to have to charge higher premium prices. And to be able to charge premium prices with something that's very plain with just a logo on it, um, your, logo is to, like, your logo has to be worth a lot of value to the customer or it has to mean a lot to them, right? Which you can do in some cases. But here's the reason. I think if you are going to do print on demand, right? Like say you're really creative or just say like you don't really, you can't find a dropshipping product but you know, you think these print on demand products will sell, don't use Shopify with paid advertising, okay? Go to something where organic traffic is free because keep in mind, right, again, you gotta know where you're spending your money. If you have to spend $8 up to $30, $25 for a custom t-shirt, that means you're gonna have to, you know, charge, you know, so say you're selling a t-shirt for $8, you might have to charge $20 just to be profitable. Again, if you're running like paid advertising and stuff because your cost of purchase, you know, could be anywhere from like three to seven, eight dollars, right? And so from there, then you're only profiting like three, four dollars. All right, per, per shirt sale. But, but if you don't have to pay for advertising, okay, then you can still charge a cheaper price for your t-shirts and not have to worry about, you know, including the advertising price, right? Which is why if you are doing POD, I suggest you would go to, you know, Etsy, eBay, the, these places where organic traffic is easier to acquire and much less expensive to acquire, right? Now, if you're going that route, right, Etsy is, it feels like a lot more handmade. That's their whole brand. Then I would really, really, encourage you to do you know custom sort of designs and stuff which might be down your alley um, especially you know if you're just getting into you know online sales and whatnot but again if you are trying to you know, use Shopify or um, drop some stuff and you're thinking of doing print on demand I wouldn't suggest it if you're new right so if if you're experienced then you probably could be launching ads um, and still remain somewhat profitable but again you have to charge more for your product right this is why some brands again if you're ordering in bulk for two dollars a shirt on alibaba you could easily sell those shirts for anywhere between like 12 15 even 10 dollars, right but you that, that's literally impossible with any sort of print on demand um app or at least most of these print on demand apps right it's, it's really hard to actually remain profitable um in that in that sort of space now if you are really really adamant on using Shopify and um, using print on demand and running ads and what, I would encourage you, because again, cold data is gonna be your most, most expensive data that you're gonna use to uh, you know, acquire customers. I would use, or I would encourage you to use influencers first to build up that data on your pixel and build up your customer list, email list, everything like that, and then start running ads with like lookalike audiences based on like add to cards, view content, purchases, all of that kind of thing, where you can most likely get a cheaper cost per uh, purchase, right? Where um, rather than just running cold ads for your print on demand store, which is going to be insanely expensive, right? Again, this I literally had a few DMs um, over the course of the last week asking me about print on demand, which is why I wanted to make this video um, to kind of clarify things and sort of give you guys a little quick rough outline of what I think you should be doing in that sort of space. Okay, so print on demand, much more expensive cost of goods. Cost of goods are the actual cost of your product, the 
the just the literal cost of your product. Um, whereas if you go to Alibaba or somewhere and actually get custom products made, it's a lot cheaper. Where you know, and in, in, again, in the, like the two to five dollar range uh, for the exact same product, right? Um, so again, just looking at a back end point of view, it doesn't look that good of a business idea. The only time I've ever used print on demand before in the past was just to test out designs to see if people actually wanted to buy them. I was not making a profit on them. I would sell them for the exact same price. I was I would sell an actual you know T-shirt from Alibaba or any of these other suppliers. Um, but I was just seeing if people would be interested in that product. Okay, and then I actually order it in bulk. There's no um, at least for me, my personal there's no opinion. There's no reason to have a print on demand product on a shop store they're running ads to unless you are getting insanely profitable um, co like cost per purchase right other than that i would highly suggest you guys to actually use etsy ebay any of these other things where it's more like handmade more custom and there's a lot more free traffic that you can utilize um, to your advantage without having to spend a lot of money on cold data okay or you can go the influencer route find some really uh you know engaging influencers that have good audiences get shout outs from them story posts whatever um, to build up data to your store and then for, <laughs> to build data from your store, get purchases, build out customer lists, do all that um, so that you can actually make lookalike audiences and get cheaper ads that way, okay? Which is something that we teach in the Ecom Challenges Academy program. Always plug in the description. Now, um, that's basically it, guys. That, that's the premise of the video is just, you know, why I would not recommend using print on demand. That's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to comment if you have questions. I will respond to all the comments. And make sure to subscribe, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. It's 3.30 a.m. in the morning. We've been working all day, um, but I wanted to get something out for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.